consider set p of x in r and such that a x equal to b x greater than equal to zero and a is totally unimodular and b is an integer vector then what we can show is every extreme point of p provided p is not empty as only integer entries why is this true well extreme points of p are precisely the basic feasible solutions as long as a has four rank right so if a has full row rank then the extreme points of p are given by the basic feasible solutions of the system ax equal to b x squared then equal to zero now uh, suppose that's the case suppose a has four rank a basic feasible solution x star is usually given by a basis b and the entries of the basic variable are given by this but we can write this differently using Kramer's rule using Kramer's rule x i star where i is in b is given by the determinant of b i divided by the determinant of a sub b where the matrix b i is obtained from a sub b by replacing the column corresponding to a i by the right hand side b okay so that's Kramer's rule now I know that the determinant of a totally unimodular matrix is going to be 1 or minus 1 in this case because a sub b is non-singular and since all the entries in this bi are integers we know that the determinant of this is going to be integer as well when you have an integer divided by 1 or minus 1 you get integer so xi star has to be an integer and that basically shows that every basic feasible solution to this system has only integer entries and so every extreme point of p has only integer entries now what happens if a does not have full row rank well that means a has some redundant rows and we can use gaussian elimination to identify the redundant rows and get rid of them so we end up with a system after deleting those redundant rows that have coefficient matrix with full row rank and then we can apply this result and get that the extreme point of P has only integer entries and so if you replace A say by a no arc incidence matrix then this polyhedron will have only integer extreme points and that means if we minimize some linear function over this polyhedron if we look for extreme point optimal solutions which will exist as long as there is an optimal solution because uh, polyhedra in standard form always has an extreme point as long as they are not empty we will have an integer solution for this problem in other words if we add in the requirement that x has to be an integer point in p well we don't really need this anymore as long as we look for optimal extreme points we'll get this condition for free of course life is not always this nice because we cannot always expect that our problem can be expressed in this form where A is a totally unimodular matrix but there are ways to deal with that and we'll look at some of the techniques in later videos